Hey, what's going on everybody? So last night we got some pretty big news. I was going to make a video on it, but it was pretty late when I found out. So I just want to cover that a little bit today. Uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump have officially agreed to have a debate. Uh, Joe Biden put out a really interesting, really a 15 second video, which was edited five times, by the way. And the guy couldn't even get through a full sentence, but he had a couple of decent jabs in there, kind of talking trash about Trump. And then Trump, of course, responds at any time, bring it on, yada, yada, yada. So this is, uh, I mean, most people would say, well, why is this even news? They always debate. Well, the plan was originally that Joe Biden was not going to debate anybody. So now that he's agreed to do it, uh, it's going to be very interesting and uh, very funny as well. It's going to be an entertaining uh, night. I think it's June 27th. Uh, now, Biden's trying to move that up. I think he wants it, like, pretty soon and I think the reason he wants it soon is because he knows that right now he's doing very bad in the polls. And I know polls aren't everything, but the problem is, is that usually the polls will have a margin of error that doesn't account for Trump. So if, if the polls show that Trump's winning by five, he's probably winning by eight or nine. If they show that he's losing by three or four, he's probably closer to tie. We've seen this in 2016 and even 2020 when polls would come out. They would be kind of, they would, Trump usually outperforms what he does on the polls by a few uh, percentage points. So if he's already winning, he's probably winning by more than what he's actually viewed as winning. So I think Joe Biden kind of wants to try to embarrass him. I think he's going to just bring up January 6th, the 2020 election. He's going to bring up his court cases. And that's really all he's got. Right. He did an interview, I can't remember with who, but he was talking about how, oh, when I got in office, I inherited a nine, a nine, um, um, inflation was at 9%. And the reporter was like, no, it was 1.4%. <laughs> right. So he doesn't know where he is. He's been lying in, in politics since the year I was born, probably even before that. I don't think it's a good strategy for him. I don't think he should debate Donald Trump because Donald Trump can actually speak. Now, what's also interesting about this is we didn't hear any word on whether Robert Kennedy Jr. would be invited to that debate. Now, I think we already know the answer. We know that both Trump or Biden do not want to debate Robert Kennedy. And the reason that is is because they don't want to get embarrassed. They know that if he shows up and just torches both of them, which is exactly what would happen, Kennedy's poll numbers would not just rise in a little bit, but in a big way. If he showed up and lost, or if he showed up and just did okay, then maybe not. But he would absolutely obliterate both of them. They both know it, and they don't want him there. I don't know if they're working together to do this, or if the DNC has just decided, hey, it's Trump only, or, or what's going on. But I'm telling you right now, if I find out that Trump and Biden have worked together to keep Robert Kennedy out of there, then they're both fucking cowards, and I don't give a shit who wins between them. I would not support Donald Trump over anyone or Joe Biden over anyone if they work together. After all the hate and, oh, this side's so divisive and this side's against democracy, this side's a fascist group, they're terrorists, they're all this. Like, you really seem to hate each other. But when there's, a, when there's war to be had or when there's a third-party candidate who wants to get in the debate, all of a sudden the Democrats and Republicans become pretty damn friendly, don't they? And they work together. If that happens, I'm definitely still going to be in for Robert Kennedy, but Trump would no longer be my second place. So we'll see what happens. I don't think they're ever going to allow Robert Kennedy to, to debate, because they know what happened. Trump was asked, and he's like, oh, I don't know anything about Robert Kennedy. Bullshit. They tried to smear him, and it didn't work. Biden and Kennedy have been friends for like 40 years, so I don't see Biden smearing him personally. But he doesn't want to debate Robert Kennedy either. Why? How can Joe Biden want to debate anybody who can speak? You can probably tell by some of my videos that I stutter quite often. I can speak way better than Joe Biden. Joe Biden's not even home. And the lights aren't even on. Somehow he's just moving around like a Zumba. And I mean, he's just... You know, I mean, yeah, they'll give him some drugs. They'll give him some... I don't know what they're going to they're gonna give him to perk him up. But they'll give him something and maybe he can get through the debate. But I think it's a bad idea. But what do you guys think? That's really why I wanted to make this video. Is I did post a poll about this last night, but I, I just want to kind of you know see some more comments and see what you, you know, what do you guys think? Who's going to win? Do you think Robert Kennedy will be invited? 
Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments section. That's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. And don't forget to like and subscribe.